Hey guys, this is the Duda 2 and uh, part 9, coming to the end of my uh, video go on series. Well, um, I set off to do this project for a number of reasons. One, I wanted a real nice uh, go on of my own. And two, I wanted to kind of test my woodworking abilities. And three, I wanted to help anybody else who um, is wanting to make their own Gobon and has all kinds of questions and you know wonders uh, the different methods, etc. So I tried to uh, put a bunch of these methods together. Some of them worked for me, some of them didn't. And um, I just recently had a bit of a disaster. Um, I was. Uh, you see by my last video I put all the lines on with a knife and they're all nicely uh, you know serrated and uh, you know indented in um, but then when I tried to apply the lines to that I just couldn't line it up properly with the um, with the lines and it just messed messed everything up uh, you know I had lines that were wiggly I just couldn't do it um, it was too much of a pain in the butt and I just can't bring myself to magic mark or something that I, I just worked so hard on making this real nice. So, um, but one good thing is the lines are already on. Uh, you can see them, and they're on in a permanent way. Uh, and I think they look nice this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep these lines, and I'm just going to add the star points to them. And I'm happy with this. Some of you may not be happy with this. And I'm assuming uh, many, probably most of you out there are going to have a little more skill with uh, keeping their hands steady and drawing nice lines than me. Um, I did this good, but lining up the lines with the um, cut marks uh, just proved a little more than I'm willing to, to mess around with. You know, I've already spent hours on this. I want to get this done. And... Uh, you know I'm happy with this so far so all that's left for me to do with this is to put on the star point and um, finish it off I got some nice finishing uh, wax and some different things uh, that I'll show you uh, next video after the star points because I figure there's gonna be two more videos one where I put on the star points and then one where I um, protect it with some type of finish and uh, I bought a couple different finishes to try stuff out uh, more for you guys than for me but um, but um, one thing I noticed I didn't do is, though even though I showed you how to put the lines on, I didn't actually apply any type of ink or lines on the board um, on video. And um, I figured that could be a problem because most people are going to want um, their lines not cut in with a knife like I did, which is kind of overkill. They're going to want to put it on with a marker or a paint or an ink. So um, what I'm going to do with this video is um, show you the different lines and how to apply them uh, other than my cutting method which I showed you last video so I'm going to move this out of the way because it's still um, basically what I did was with my mess ups see this line you can still kind of see there's some issues with it so what I did was I took a screwdriver and very gently peeled the ink off of it yeah I tried ink after marker after paint Peel, tried to try them all and I, I peeled it off and then I would stand over it and I'll probably stand over it one more time uh, and then I'm, I'm done I'm, I'm just trying to cover up my little mess up and move on from there so uh, call me lazy or scared or a wuss I, I really did try uh, but looking at this I'm very happy with this I, this looks like a nice traditional Gobon something from uh, maybe ancient China or something where the lines are just on Really, if you want to indent lines like this, you need a softer wood where you could actually apply them with the katana. Uh, that seems to be the very best method. What they would do is they would put ink on the tip of the katana and roll it down, and that just would indent it and ink on the inside. It seems like a win-win. Um, so I'm going to move this out of the way. And uh, what I have here are the different uh, methods of applying lines. Now I have a, um, a piece of... Uh, I think it's just a piece of pine and uh, I'm not going to do the whole deal but I just want to show you some of the differences in the lines so you can maybe compare um, you know, the different things. Um, just for a real brief overview um, for the method I used for figuring out the spacing of the lines, um, what I did was I took my compass right, and I found the distance, I had the proper spacing I wanted in between the, the stones. Now, let me zoom in a little bit here. Yeah, so I found the proper, geez, that's not very clear. Found the proper spacing I liked in between the stones, and I used this, and then I just marked it out like that. Okay, 
right, not too bad. Put a little mark, and then um, my ruler, zip, zippity zap, got my lines. So what we're gonna do for this is I'm gonna take my pencil, and I'm gonna put a couple straight lines, at least semi-straight lines down this center here. And we're gonna use that as a guide, and we're gonna try the different methods and compare the different lines. So, four, I think I got five or six, but I'll put an extra line in just in case, and we'll, we'll compare. Okay, so we have our lines written in pencil, all right? So let's, uh, let's back it up a little bit. Um, you always want to, you never want to freehand it, right? Unless you've got some kind of crazy mad skill, because there's always a bump or a shake or something in the wood that's not totally uh, flat that kind of makes you stutter a little. Not good. Um, so what you do with the Sharpies is you want to find uh, a fine point and an extra fine point. And you want to use the fine or extra fine point for your lines and then a thicker marker for your dots. But we're going to do, we'll do marker first. We'll go this way. So you want to line it up so that it's over the pencil. Clamp it down, right? But let's, uh, let's try a marker line. So you can kind of see the difference. So there's a marker. And I'll zoom in and give you guys a better, uh, better view. But um, this is just a regular Sharpie fine point marker. Okay. Now I bought um, this paint marker. Now I really like the way this looked, but the problem is uh, when I was using it, uh, it would come out real thick, real thin, real thick, real thin, and it would leave blotches, and it's too much for me. Um, if I could have perfected this, this would have been my preferred method, and I think, I think you'll agree with me when you see why, because it just, I mean, it looks pretty amazing. So, uh, let's line that up. Let me make sure the paint marker's going good. Um, things with these is you need to wait for it to, for the tip to fill up. It's pretty neat. Um, so let me, uh, pretty lined up, good. This is my preferred method. Um, it seems to work very well when you're just doing lines like this. But when you're doing lines like, uh, you know, on an indent, where you're actually indenting, like I was trying to go inside my lines, uh, it, just, it just didn't work very well. But I mean, that, that's a beautiful looking line. Um, I also bought what's called a Prismacolor Premier. Uh, it's a type of marker, but it's a special type of marker. I, th I think they use this for comic books and anime, and it has two different tips. A nice thick tip on one side, and a skinny tip on the other. So we'll try both. So we'll go skinny tip here. It's definitely a little smoother than the regular magic marker, but it doesn't seem to be as dark. Let's do the thick tip. I don't think this will work good for our, because it's thick, I'm gonna move the, the ruler a bit further to the side. It actually makes a nice thick line. Next, I have ink uh, at my local pack of tans, which is a craft store. It's kind of like Michael's or Joe and Fabrics or the national brand. They actually had a Japanese and Chinese ink for calligraphy. Um, I believe most uh, stores that would be craft store would carry calligraphy, paper, brushes, etc. And they would have this ink. Now, like, probably, which was a good idea in the long run, I bought the Chinese ink, which was a little cheaper. I think the Japanese ink, which was really expensive, might be the same ink that they use for Go Bonds. Because I know that ink's very expensive. Maybe not. Um, but I bought the Chinese ink here, and we'll give this a shot. Um, but before that, let's see, I have one container, so we'll try, I also have paint, uh, American Gloss Enamels paint. Um, it's just a regular paint, uh, it says it's good for wood, glass, ceramics, etc. So we're going to try this paint also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little tiny squirt of this paint in here. Okay, just a little squirt. And then hopefully there'll be room for me to try the ink too. But, uh, so let's try, dip the paintbrush in here. Right, so we'll do this one for the, for the paint. Yeah, 
Yeah, the paint uh, is definitely going to take a little longer. And it probably depends on your paintbrush. I think I'm missing as far as actually dipping the paint in here. Yeah, it's not the it's not the prettiest, but it is a preferred method. A lot of people uh, recommend using paint over marker just because of the see my inability to make the lines very nice. Uh, so obviously, it's coming out now, and. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you could use a, a smaller brush and uh, see if I can pretty this up a little bit before I show you my mess, masterpiece. And uh, obviously it's a bit thicker. And then the last thing I want to go over and try is the ink. Um, I'm going to actually see if I can just get this paint off of here. Not the preferred method of paint removal. Uh, in case you didn't realize this, guys, I don't script this. Uh, I just kind of go with the flow. I just threw a bunch of stuff together. I didn't have a step-by-step -step or anything like that. Um, I just put a bunch of tools on the table and all right. So let's uh, let's add the ink and give that a shot. a nice nozzle comes out nice and thick all right we got a new new paintbrush for this slide it up let's do the other side and this is with this is calligraphy ink let's see if I can do something a little a little better with this Comes on nice and smooth. It's definitely a bit uh, neater than the paint. It's less clumpy. It sticks very softly to the brush. And it's a very dark color. I'm really digging this. This would be, uh, again, uh, now I'm screwing it up. Again, you gotta have you gotta have a knack for this. Um, it's not. I'm wondering if there's a. See, I'm already putting it on too thick. I'm wondering if there's like a stencil, like a, a line stencil uh, that can go on. Right, you gotta you gotta have a knack for this. This is art, artsy kind of stuff. Uh, so it's not recommended for everybody, I guess. But here are the different lines. Back in here. Okay. Uh, here we have the ink, pen, the paint pen, and the two Prisma markers, and my paint, and the thick one is the ink. So hopefully, uh, this gives you a, a good idea of what's what's what. Notice I about butchered the ink and I butchered the paint. So, but um. This should give you a good idea of the different types of lines. Um, the other option would be the wood burner, which uh, makes a nice line, but uh, not colored. And you can color in the wood burner, it works all right, but I don't recommend coloring in knife cuts because that doesn't seem to cut it. But uh, once again, um, this is what happens when you use a brush and you're not very skilled at it, right here. All right, these two are the thick Prismacolor markers. This is a Sharpie, which is nice and consistent, and uh, this is a paint pen. So hopefully this uh, answers some of you guys' questions. Um, next video I'm going to apply the star points, and then the video after that I'm going to apply a type of protective coating, and we'll call, it a, we'll call it a series. Thank you guys for your support. I'll, I'll zoom out, and uh, as you can see, uh, just by this that I'm not able to put on a really nice line unless I use a Sharpie and uh, Sharpie seems to be kind of a, a cheaper way like I put a lot of effort into that board and I don't want to to end it with a Sharpie I guess so we'll call that uh, just just my stubbornness or whatever um, this is I did this with a Sharpie this is my 13 by 13 board and uh, 
the Sharpie seemed to work just fine. You know, it's just uh, it's a little little bit of a cheaper method. That's all. I wanted something really really nice uh, for my board. So, um, any questions, comments, criticisms? Feel free to shoot them. Uh, sorry, the video cut out a few times. Uh, I think because the battery's dying. So, I'll hurry up and finish this. So, uh, thank you guys for everything, and I'll uh, excuse me. I'll see you for the finishing videos. Thank you.